Hi, this is Brian, Solutions Architect with Amazon Web Services. And in this short video, I'm going to intro inventory services, part of Amazon EC2 Systems Manager, and we'll look at the details of how it works. In inventory, it really lets us collect several things off of the servers. It lets us collect the instance details, the OS details, network configuration, whatever software and patches are installed, and really we have a customizable aspect that you can collect anything you want in inventory. Common scenarios we see customers use this for is tracking applications in licensing usage. For example, if you have server, uh, SQL Server and you're trying to figure out how many copies of SQL Server you're running in the enterprise, this is a quick, easy way to audit and find out how many you're running. Another thing is identifying unpatched servers. We see in the world today uh, zero-day exploits where we have to look at what's running in our environment and remove those uh, problem-type servers or update them. Uh, for example, if we were running bind, uh, eight DNS servers, those are vulnerable today and can easily be taken over. We can quickly run a query and find out if we're running any of those servers in our environment. Uh, and lastly, we can watch for changes over time by integrating to AWS Config. The way Systems Manager works is it's an agent that runs on a server, so it's infinitely scalable in that sense. Uh, each server runs and it uses just a little bit of the CPU of that server. That agent allows it to do all the other services in addition to inventory. And the way it works is inventory is going, or the SSM agent reaches out over the internet and reads its configuration documents from the AWS config, you know, command and control server. And so with this, that's how it's able to uh, execute commands without any ports open with high security. Uh, the agent uh, works quite well. And so if we look further at this in inventory, in the inventory service, we have that same agent running on Linux, on Windows, uh, whether it's on-prem or in an EC2 instance. And it's going to utilize this. First, it reads the document of what it should inventory on that machine. Then it will inventory it and then upload that information uh, to EC2 Systems Manager. From there, we can combine it with uh, AWS Config and we can populate that data into the Config database. And so that way, we can keep a historical record. We can see what changes over time uh, and we can go back and, and look at what the inventory was previously. Join us in the next video where we'll look, take a look at and demo EC2 Systems Manager Inventory Services. Thanks for watching.